Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Henghua noodles in thick gravy. So let's start cooking. We're going to cook the noodles now. Heat up a pan, adding just a little bit of oil. Just a little bit will do. We are going to pan fry the pork belly now. Brown them. So once it's hot, we put in the pork belly. This 50 grams of pork belly, I've sliced them up. Put them in. Now for those of you who don't like to eat fatty pork, you can always opt for lean meat. But why do I use pork belly? Because I want to extract the lard out from the pork belly and the dish will taste so much better. You can add in more pork if you want to, but I'm just cooking for two. So this uh, amount that I require for two. When they have started to brown, I'm going to add in mushroom. There is two pieces of dried mushroom. I've soaked and hydrated them and sliced them thinly like this. We we'll put them in. Add in also two cloves of garlic chopped. Fry them for a minute or so. It is already starting to smell very, very nice. We're now adding one liter of water. I'll add in also one teaspoon of chicken stock powder. If you do not want to use chicken stock powder, please make your own chicken stock using chicken bones or chicken feet. Stir them up well. Put the lid on and wait for them to boil. Once the soup is boiling, we put in the rest of the ingredients. I have with me over here about 20 pieces of clams. Put them in. This will add to the sweetness of the soup. 8 pieces of prawns dish out and deveined. Put them in. I'm just using two pieces of dried noodles. You can get this from any supermarket. We just cover them and let them boil back again. This will take approximately around two to three minutes. The noodles that I'm using is from Siamen. It's known as Amoy Bean Street. But you can use any noodles that you fancy. Right, this is boiling already. We will now season this soup. Add in around one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, Pepper. I like some greens with my noodles. That's why I'm putting in this Thai Xing over here. This is about two stalks of it. Let's put it in. One teaspoon of sesame oil. Just drizzle it over the veg. Stir it in. Now before we thicken the broth, let's just give it a final taste to make sure that it's salty enough to our liking. can do with a little bit of half a teaspoon more of salt and half a teaspoon more of sugar and this will be great we will now thicken up these noodles I'm using cornstarch solution to thicken up these noodles okay now depending on how thick you want the broth to be you can add in more or add in less So this is good, this is how I like my noodles to be. So it's time to serve this now. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our Hengua noodles in thick gravy. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.